All right, so now we're going to take a look at these little pieces on the front here. And what I notice when I take a closer look is there is, it looks like my aimer's high versus the gun high is uh, sort of out of sync. And I can actually see this gun high file isn't lined up. So I think this must have been, I'm just copy the name, like a duplicate before I did the mirror operation, just in case I need to go back. So I'm going to delete that. And I think my gun duplicate file is actually the correct high poly. Okay, but we don't need it because we're only working on this stuff here. Go and hide the cylinders. And I can see there are some some holes here which are gonna get in the way of the of the retop. So I'm just gonna go ahead and repair that stuff. Just double click them. And I don't really care what's going on on the other side. It's kind of a big hole. I wonder what I'm going to do is, is just back up. I'm just going to reopen this file. So if I isolate these guys, okay, I do definitely still have Aimer's high. Sorry, what I'm trying to do here is look at this thing. So I think I'm actually just going to keep it because I think it's correct and I can delete everything else. And we can isolate it here. And that's nice and clean. Perfect. Okay. So if you ever see your geo is messed up, your high poly geo, it's pretty important that, that you find a clean version of it. And because again, we're, we're duplicating from this side to this side, I have faith that this is going to be the correct mesh. So uh, now I'm going to move forward with this one. So we'll go ahead and make it live. Going to hide everything that isn't part of that little thing there. We'll hop over to, I had to restart Maya. So here's my toolkit. Go to quad draw. And I want to make sure I've got enough uh, edge loops here to describe the curvature. Actually, I guess going this way, there are rings. I don't know. Oh, but I forgot to. Nope. I um, This piece here is not symmetrical. I mean, it, it actually technically is symmetrical. <clears throat> but I don't really mind retopping it. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'm going to hop out, go to face view. I'm just going to delete this thing here. Uh, the, the retop, make the uh, turn off live. I'm going to center the pivot. And then let's just turn on, we'll go to the front view. Get this camera out of the way. So if I can scoot this thing over and I can see where my where my pivot is and just line that up fairly closely with the origin. Now I should be able to use quad draw with I'm gonna use world X just because object X might understand the transforms, which are basically this value here. But if I use the world, it should just be using the origin. I need to make this live and then head over to toolkit and quad draw. And let's just see how that's kind of working. I think it looks pretty good, but it could be better. So try one final thing here. I'm just going to do a mirror operation. So mesh mirror, and now I can be very, very certain that it is symmetrical and I don't have any weird holes anywhere. So I think we're in pretty good shape there. Okay. The geo gets up maybe a little bit funkier looking, but eh, whatever, you know, I think it should still bake. Okay. Whoops. Keep doing that. So I need to take this object, make it live, enable quad draw. And now you can see those points are all exactly where they need to be. Right on the edge.
And I'm going to use a uh, center point for the modeling, and then I'm just going to get rid of it because don't really need it. And probably know the drill at this point. Just kind of zip around this thing. That's interesting. I wonder why it's not moving. So by the time we get over here, that's pretty much flat. So I'm just going to go ahead and collapse this. This thing is pretty small. I'm not real worried about little areas not reading perfectly. That's interesting. So I think what I'll do here is just use the uh, tab just to try to get this stuff to behave in a reasonable way. Hmm. Well, it gets there eventually, even if I have to kind of argue with it a little bit. That's probably pretty reasonable on both sides. Right, so this way we're like supporting that curvature, but we don't have to hang on to those extra polygons there. And we can just kind of get all this stuff here knocked out. Not too much trouble. And down here, I'm going to go ahead and just collapse that so we don't have to try to integrate too many points here into the cylinder. And tab, middle mouse. Kind of get all this stuff figured out. And then I wonder if I grab tab. All right, well, that's better than nothing. I guess because we got those triangles there, it wasn't able to resolve any more than that, but I'll take it. Thinking I might get a little bit clever there, but I think I'm just going to keep it simple. Uh, 
I don't know, I'm just a tiny bit over my time, but so close to being done. Voila. Okay. Uh, so we don't need this edge. Whatever. We'll do a little bit of a cleanup pass here once everything's all said and done. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the live surface. Go ahead and make everything visible. Oops, I got the wrong button. So uh, Control H is hide and Shift H. Go ahead and get rid of those. Shift H is show whatever the selection is. So we'll just kind of park that guy right there. So now we have the cleaned up high poly and it's broken up uh, in a way that's going to make it nice for baking. And uh, we will take a look at uh, cleaning up the low poly here and uh, starting the UVs here in the next few videos.